Ian here with Turretech USA. Today we're looking at the BMW Crash Bar Reinforcement. This part is made for any of the water-cooled GS's or GS Adventures that are outfitted with the BMW OEM Crash Bars. What this kit is designed to do is just give you a very solid reinforcement of the original Crash Bar because the original bar is only mounted in a few points and this end of the Crash Bar can be a little bit flimsy in a hard crash. So with this piece installed, it really firms up the whole assembly, gives it a very strong mount for a good hard fall to protect your bike. This piece is made out of stainless steel, the clamps are laser cut stainless steel, and all the hardware is stainless as well. It's all electro polished with a similar construction as the BMW crash bar so that they look good together. So now let's jump into how to install this. To install the Turatec crash bar reinforcement, you'll need a T40 and a T50 Torx wrench, a 3mm and a 5mm Allen wrench, and a pair of side cutters for nipping zip ties. You'll also need some WD-40 or other lubricant, some thread lock, and some anti-seize. To prepare for this install, the first thing I like to do is take the Delrin spacers and take the O-rings and just roll them down over the top so that they snap into their grooves. I also take a little bit of WD-40, some other lubrication, just to help them slide into the frame a little bit easier. Now you can set this aside. Now we are going to loosen the lower crash bar bolts on the factory crash bars. At the rear, you use a T50 Torx wrench. You don't need to remove these bolts, you just loosen them four turns or so. That just gives the crash bar a little bit of more room to move. So now we take the crash bar and the Delrin spacer, slap the two together like this. Take your M8 by 55 button head bolt and your large M8 washer. Slide it through the elongated hole. Now you've got this kind of funny shaped washer. We call this shape a double D. You slide it right down in here. You take your M8 nylock nut. And then just kind of hold the nut in place. Turn the spacer to screw everything together. You want this to stay loose, so I just do it finger tight usually plenty of room for us to move around. Now you'll take this and you'll install the spacer right here into this hole in the frame. Just like that. If you just line this up gently here and maybe pull out on the stock crash bar a little, you can get an idea where this piece is going to line up. And so on this bike it's going to be just about an inch behind the rubber pad. So you take the protective film that Turtec included, you wrap that around your stock crash bar in the position where the Turtec reinforcement piece is going to attach. This is just to keep it from getting scratched. And you can rest this piece in position here. We'll use this Turtec clamp to affix the lower end of the bar to the crash bar here. And you can see it's got two sides. One side has a Turatec logo cut into it. The back side has this odd square shape. That's for holding this stainless nut in the back side. The nut just locks itself into position there. So this, is, this way you don't have to use a wrench on the back side of this crash bar when you're tightening this lower bolt in. The clamp, you just slide over the crash bar put it into position here, and you'll give it a squeeze, get it as tight as you can. Now Turatec was nice enough to include a zip tie. What you do with this is just wrap it around this clamp. This is to help hold it in place while you're installing the bolt. This part can be a little tricky. Really if you can just manage to get the bolt to go all the way through, that's the first step. 
And then you can start the spacer on the back side or the nut on the back side. All right, that part just needs to be hand tight. You use some thread locker on the bolt to make sure it doesn't vibrate out. Once you've got that piece tightened, take a pair of side cutters and just cut that zip tie out of there. Now all that's left is just to tighten up the bolts. So you'll use the same T50 and T40 Torx wrenches to tighten up the lower BMW crash bar bolts. And then we'll tighten up the upper Turatec bolt here with a five millimeter Allen wrench. So the torque spec on the larger of these two is 55 newton meters, which is just about 40 foot pounds. On the front bolt, the torque is 30 newton meters. Now we just have to tighten up the upper Turatec bolt. Torque spec on this one's about five foot pounds, not very tight at all. That's it, ready to go.